the ComGo Z1 laser from ComGrow. Had a little problem with uh, not wanting to start up in light burner stuff. I found out it was a firmware issue. So we're going to update the firmware coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And something I discovered, it was kind of by accident. Um, I triggered an alarm when I was in Lightburn with the Comgo Z1 laser here. And I was not able to reset it from Lightburn. However, if I went in the laser gerbil, I could reset it and unlock it. Close laser gerbil, go back and use Lightburn again. I thought this was rather odd. Uh, so I reached out to uh, Comgro and they told me I needed to update my firmware. So that's what I did here. And I'm not going to go through the whole little process of here because they have a very, very good video on doing it. And I'm going to put that right here for you to watch. Well, as you can see, it's, it's not difficult. It takes a little bit of time. I had mine uh, mounted to a board here, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. And I still haven't completely reassembled this. Well, I'm going to go over a couple of uh, little things I found. Okay, this is not mount, mounted back down on the board yet. It's still sitting loose uh, because I haven't put the motherboard back in yet. i got to bolt that back on. But what uh, the things I found, and I ran into this yesterday, I was making some circles, and I wanted to burn a eight and a quarter inch circle on here as a template for something I've been making. And I wanted it nice and dark so I put in to do three passes. Well that's this outer set of lines right here. You can see I have three distinct lines but they came together and met here and they met here. They were far apart here and here. And I thought this is odd. So I did it, I turned the power way down and did it a few more times on a piece of cardboard and had the same issues. So after updating the firmware, of course this was after I talked to ComGro and their, their tech support is absolutely excellent. They uh, told me to upgrade the firmware. I had version 1 point something on there. I have now version 2 on here. I don't have the problem with being able to reset from uh, Lightburn. It, it works just fantastic. If I I have several times deliberately put it into alarm by trying to run it out of where it's supposed to be and was able to reset it with the, the dollar x command or you can right click on devices and that will reset it as well or you can write a macro for it. It's a lot of different ways to do it. What I've done now is of course this circle is smaller because it's on a scrap. I set this at low power to do four passes and as you can see it's absolutely perfect. So that little firmware upgrade or, or update or whatever you want to call it is all it needed. And I wanted to address one other thing too that one of my uh, viewers pointed out. They said I have my feet on backwards. Well, yes they are from uh, what they show on the uh, assembly. But I did that for a reason. That is because I needed to be able to bolt it to this, down to this board. You can see the mounting hole here. And I'm using these quarter 20 bolts. And once I put the bolt in, I need to be able to tighten it down with a wrench. And if these are facing out, it's very, very easy. If it's facing in, it's not so easy. 
So it makes absolutely no difference in the operation of the laser. It was just more for my convenience. I probably should have pointed that out when I uh, did the assembly video, but that's the reason I did that. Next little thing I want to point out in this video here, uh, since we're talking about the Congo laser, is uh, I did a video on adding this air assist to it. It works fantastic. The problem was that the shield they give you with the uh, laser, once you put that air assist on, you can't use this without modifying it. Well, I modified it. It's a little bit primitive peak Maverick system, but here's what I did. Actually, I did this with a hot soldering iron. I marked out on the acrylic where I needed to have the gap for the airline here, and I marked on the inside where I needed to cut out to allow for that larger diameter with the air assist. So I just took a uh, soldering iron and went around there when it was hot and made the little circle and knocked the burrs off. So now, I have the shield again just like that. Yes, I probably could have used a Dremel or something like that, but uh, yeah, that was easy. I've modified other uh, acrylic lenses with a hot soldering iron too. It works real well. Just don't use a giant soldering iron. Just a small one is all you need. So there's a little quick video on uh, if you're having any of these issues, just update the firmware. It's not difficult to do. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain when you already have the laser mounted to a board, but if you don't have it mounted to a board and it's just sitting around and taking those two screws out, Take your SD card out, put the firmware on it, flash it, take the card back out, delete the firmware off of there, put the card back in, put it back together, and you're ready to go. It's not a, a big deal. Uh, so, also pointed out a couple other little things here, and uh, you can probably see in the foreground up here, I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Halloween's coming, yes, it's middle of September, but Halloween's coming, and we have orders for some different things, and I have some different projects going on. I've actually got five lasers going right now and shortly here I'll be demonstrating cutting with this one here using the air assist and the Congro honeycomb board underneath it. So if you got anything out of this appreciate getting a thumbs up always helps the channel of course always looking for subscribers. Roger in the shop thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one.